Hi, hello, 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 my beautiful people, my beautiful YouTube family. How are you guys? How are you guys? I'm well, I'm fine. I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. It's a beautiful day. It's beautiful. And uh, I just wanted to share a message with you guys and that message is, as you can see by the title, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna word it, but just uh, the beautiful opportunity of each new day. And, you know, as I've been doing a lot of reflecting and things, you know, you realize that every day that you wake up, it's not promise, it's not guaranteed, but, Every day that you wake up, wake up with the mindset of today is a new day and today is a fresh new opportunity for me to create or birth or become or just be the best you you can be. Every day you get to choose how you want to live, how you want to be, how you want to think, what you want to believe, what you want to, whatever, however it applies. And so that in itself should just make you smile. That in itself should be the motivation to just experience, explore and learn and soar and venture and to just be enthused and optimistic and wondrous about life because life presents you every day with new opportunities opportunities for growth opportunities for uh just whatever you know and when you think and just hold a vibration of what you want whatever that is and then you release it and you just allow it to be, allow it to come to you, allow it to manifest, allow it to show up. That is your prayer, your asking being answered. That is your mind sending back to you what it is that you're putting out, what it is that you're wanting to receive back, reciprocate back. So every day is just a wonderful opportunity to bask in that in that mystery in that joy in that wow i can you know i can i am i have i will words of empowerment and, and encouragement of liberation of healing of growth by working on ourselves daily to shift our minds to think in that realm of infinite possibility to think in that realm of wow what is today going to bring and you expect positive things magic miracles to happen and so I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's what that's what I'm coming back to within my journey. So with me sharing a little bit, the beginning of my whole journey of stepping out on faith, coming out of my comfort zone and things like that, you know, in the beginning it was exciting, adventurous, it was knew it was all those things but then as you go in your journey and you experience all these different feelings all these different emotions all these different stages of awakening you know meeting different people you know global things happening all over the all over the world and things like that you know your faith your belief things like that and then just growing as an adult, as a woman, as a mother, as a person, 
you know you can kind of go into a depressive phase or a depressive cycle where you're not your best self you're not your most creative self you don't want to be bothered you may be tired you may be cranky or just you know you you have a lot of things that need to be released and we all go through that and i kind of been in that place and just a little i'm still there you know where i'm figuring my new self out i'm figuring out what it is that i truly truly want where it is that i truly want to be you know what it is that i truly want to do what do i truly want to create in this world you know how do i want to show up and things like that you know and just finding a balance within myself of doing and being where okay i can do this and i can do that and i can create this and i can create that but then also balancing the aspect of myself of just being if i want to just sit out on the balcony and just be i can just do that i don't have to think or or try to do you know just over exerting my masculine or just being in my feminine you know too long you know it's just about balance balancing those two energies those two aspects of myself making time for myself more you know um making time for just me again putting myself first and not so much my family or you know just all these different things that i feel that i have to do or should be doing you know just making sure my mental is is good making sure my spirit is good you know making sure i'm checking in with god checking in with myself checking in with girl you okay you know what i'm saying checking in with my womb you know getting more in tune and closer to my womb and just to nature and just hearing more of the spirit being more in the spirit and not so much trying to do 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 or keep up with the world or keep up with anything that's going on or just within myself of feeling like i should be doing all these different things it's like girl just relax just flow just breathe just be you know so that's just a little bit about me where i've been at within myself and then just i just wanted to just share that with you guys you know and um i hope that you can really take this in and allow yourself to just be and just love on yourself get comfortable with your newfound identity or um a new discovery of yourself or you know whatever because at the end of the day whether we're on a spiritual journey a weight loss journey a growth journey uh a healing journey whatever it may be we're all journeying we're all healing we're all coming back to source we're all coming back to ourselves coming back to nature coming back to life and love and what really matters and everything else is an illusion and it's just fading away you know a lot of things are just being exposed and broken down and it's 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 beautiful but i know a lot of it is uncomfortable and and maybe nasty and just difficult to deal with a lot of shadows and darkness that we gotta kind of just break through in order to get to that light at the end of the tunnel you know for things to be clear again and we can feel again back connected with our bodies back connected with ourselves back connected with all that is you know from from so long of being disconnected being disembodied being displaced now it's time for that re-emerging. That's why it's important for us to heal and to reconnect with the earth so that our DNA can repair and heal and 
and we can remember not so much reawaken but remember to just remember and and to just be to take the messages and the guidance that comes to us and we navigate through our lives in that way where we can stay and be in our authentic purpose and our authentic truths and just be in a genuine place of love, joy, peace, oneness, wholeness, fulfillment. And yeah, and you know, that's the beautiful thing too about getting back in tune with the feminine essence with mother, the mother aspect, where that part of ourselves can be birthed again, where we can be renewed in that way and we can share our wisdom that comes deep from our soul, from our bodies. When we reconnect with ourselves, when we reconnect with our wounds, when we plant ourselves back into the earth, because there's so much wisdom that women carry and it's, it's time for that knowledge to be shared. It's time for women to unite, to come together, to, to bleed, for our blood to go back into the earth, for, for us to be connected back again with the ebb and flow and the rhythms of the earth and the cycles of the planetary systems and the moon. We're so connected to the moon and to the earth, but we've been so disconnected, so embodied, so disembodied, so disregarded, so walked over, so enslaved, so put down, so mistreated. It's so much that has been done to the woman, to the womb, to mama, to the female. So much has been done to the earth. The earth is female, it's feminine. And now we're healing. We're taking care of the earth again. We're remembering the earth. We're honoring the earth. And us as women, we have to be the way showers for our children, for our husbands, for our community, our partners, whoever we're with. You know what I'm saying? We have to show the way. And in order for us to do that, we have to heal ourselves. We have to heal our wounds. We have to heal our hearts. We have to forgive. We have to release. We have to shed. We have to go through these transformations and cycles and seasons of growth to come back to that place of wholeness so that we can create heaven on earth. We can create peace again because women are the peacekeepers. We are. We are. And I'm so, I'm so grateful to be in this place in my life right now and to just share this information that's been coming to me and what I've been learning and what I've been seeing and just everything. And it's just beautiful. It's, it's just beautiful. I love y'all. I hope that you can feel my love and my peace because I can feel it for myself. And um, I just wanted to just share this love, share this light, share this energy with you guys, share this message with you guys. And I hope you guys be blessed. I wish blessings upon you, love upon you, prosperity upon you, peace upon you, guidance upon you, all right? As we navigate through these turbulent but beautiful times. All right, peace. I'm back and I have food. So this is a bowl. Got black beans, cauliflower, avocado, corn, bell peppers. Look like almonds. I don't know, my husband got it for me. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's vegan, it's plant-based. Got some lemons, some rice, refried beans, chips, sauces. Okay, let's see, let's give a taste, but I wanna give thanks. 
Thank you, Father, Mother God, for this food, for my husband, for my family, for the earth, for the trees, for the birds, for the sun, for the moon, for, for, for all of creation. I thank you. I thank you right now. May you bless this food, uplift the vibration of this food, take away any impurities that may be in the food. And I speak love and positivity and vibrancy and longevity into my food right now, that it be nourishing to my body, that it be nourishing to me right now. Amen. I say it is so, so much it be. Okay. Ooh, girls getting a little hot. Getting a little hot. It look like it's, it's some rice and quinoa in here too. I'm gonna put a little, I got sauce, I'm gonna put some, thought it was some hot sauce, but it's salsa. It's like baja style. I'm gonna share this with my with my chillin. And I'll talk to y'all in a minute. 